So he's, he's in middle with the yield. So the feet, feet touch. Thank you, sir. Okay, so this is the setup. Okay, most people fail the setup. Uh, but so now what he's going to do is he's going to uh, unweight one side. And he's going to lift the knee. So my instructions are um, keep your feet together to start, fingertips on the wall. And then I want you to lift your left knee as high as you can. Okay, so now the right leg is in late propulsion. The left side is in early propulsion. Okay, he had to pass through middle. So set up in middle for just a sec uh, with your knee up. So, so early, early IR on the left, late IR on the right. Make sense? Like just like a table test. So it's overs on the right and then early table test on the left. So you've got to pass through that. What you're going to see, just like we were talking about the split squats yesterday, is you'll see every decent compensatory strategy that, that, that he has to pass through to get to those two points. So he can tell you a lot with this test, okay? Because it, But it's going, to, it's going to start to look like a split squat to you or a step up or something like that. That's what's going to be familiar in your head, okay? Now. As he breaks the floor, so just break the floor. If he collapses, so drop, uh, you know, like a Trudell, yeah, there you go. So if he drops a hip out to one side as he breaks from the floor, that means he's pricking into the ground with an ER orientation, uh, ER pelvis, because he can't pressurize the bottom of the pelvis and push up to hold the IR long enough for him to get to the middle. So he collapses. So right away, I know he's got ER pelvis and he doesn't have any pressure inside of his pelvis. Okay. If he gets to middle, if he gets to middle without cheating, then I know he's got early hip IR on the left, late hip IR on the right. See the 90-90s? 90s and zeros, remember? Orthogonals are IRs. Okay? Okay? There. If he if he if he hikes a hip, right? If he hikes a hip up, that's an IR substitution. That means that he doesn't have hip IR as he passes through early on the left, late on the right. Whichever side he decides to side bend toward. If he side bends or hips hikes a hip, right? Yes. That means he's got to use a cheat for IR. Sure. Going through the middle demands that he's able to expand anteriorly, right? So this is this is our hip flexion table test, right? That we talked about before. This is a cross connect. This is a high knee step up. Whatever. Yeah. There, there you go. See. Now you know. Okay. Yeah. And so so. Basically, what, what we're seeing here is I know where he needs to be. I know what it should look like. So when he finishes, his left knee should be pointing toward his nose. If it is away from midline, then I know the spine couldn't create the delay on the left side. He doesn't have really propulsion at the top. Or if he, roll, you know, if he rolls oh, back. Say, oh, oh do, the, do the tuck under. Do the recline. Yeah. There, there you go. go. That's a spine. That, so his squat's going to look like that at the bottom, right? You see it? But this is this is early and late on one side or the other. Do you, do you want to show put them on the table and have them do a hip flexion test and you can show where the compensations happen? 